the total number of electron deficient compounds among the following yes the list of compounds those are present are phosphine diborane carbon tetrachloride ammonia lithium hydride followed by what boron trichloride if i write the structure of phosphine how phosphine is present phosphine is like this that is phosphorus is making three connectivities followed by one lone pair total number of electrons associated with the valency cell of phosphorus is r r a ten whereas if i go for diborane diborane is an electron deficient compound this is diborane diborane is present in such a way that hydrogen bond is bridged bond between the two boron atoms with respect to this boron there are eight electrons with respect to this boron this is also having eight electrons as being it is electron deficient it is making such an arrangement hence it is also now considered as what non electron deficient as everybody knows carbon tetrachloride carbon is connected with how many chlorines four chlorines so therefore central atom is having eight electrons thus we know regarding ammonia similar to that of phosphine whereas nitrogen is connected with hydrogen having one lone pair implies it is also having eight electrons whereas if i go for boron trichloride this is boron connected with three chlorines total number of electrons present are six electrons so therefore here the total number of electron deficient compounds if you look at is phosphine followed by diborane followed by ccl4 followed by ammonia followed by boron trichloride in case of diborane what we have to consider is it is a three centered two electron bond as being it is three centered two electron bond though officially it appears as eight electrons count with respect to the four bonds what we have to feel is it is not having octet configuration hence it is also electron deficient and boron trichloride is also found to be electron deficient thus there are two electron deficient compounds thus there are two electron deficient compounds